Hi, I'm Chris McGowan. I'm from Wine and Brine in Moira. Um, we're here today in the Hillsborough Forest. I do some foraging here. Let's go and see what we can find. We're just about 15 metres off the, uh, the path where people walk. And what we've got here, we've got some fantastic woodland sorrel. Great with fish. Um, it's also great in desserts, anything lemon or orange, anything like that you're doing desserts. It's a lovely little garnish to go on top. So here we've got some fantastic little chestnut mushrooms. Obviously going out foraging for mushrooms is something that you really need to know your stuff about. So you I mean, if, you, if it's something that you want to do, go out, make sure that you buy a book, a really well uh, accredited book from somebody that knows what they're talking about. So yeah, we're gonna pick some today, take them down to the restaurant and we're gonna sort them off and use them later. So right here, right next to the track, we've come across some uh, hairy bittercress. This is fantastic little leaf. It's fantastic with salads. Um, it's got this kind of really grassy flavour to it. We use it in savoury and, and desserts at the restaurant. So I'm just going to pick some and then we're going to head back to the restaurant. Wine and brine, the clue is in the name. We do a lot of brining. We don't forage for forage sake. The stuff that we forage is an integral part of what we do here. We try and extend the shelf life of uh, seasonal produce and trying to use it. Obviously fermenting and brining adds another, uh, another characteristic to the flavor and the structure of, of the vegetable or mushroom. And it's interesting, you know, it's a different way of cooking. It's an old method, but, but for me, it's, it's really what, it's, it's what we're about at Wine and Brine.